Hey up viewer, it's troubled 19th century Russian author lookalike James Peck here and welcome to Wheatley TV. Well we've popped over the border to Derbyshire here and uh, what happens when you're in Derbyshire? Well there's always a threat of rain and there is drizzle in the air but nothing more severe than that and we're hoping to get uh, this Bassett Law championship fixture underway very soon. Well, here's a site we all want to see, uh, a full minute before play is uh, scheduled to start here at the noon. Looks like uh, some sterling work by the Killer Marsh players to bring these covers off. We're in a relatively dry spell at the moment, we need to get this match on. So, after uh, only a five minute delay, the Killer Marsh openers are coming out, and so are the Wheatley boys eventually. Um, we've got one change to tell you about. Unfortunately, Mad Dog fans, he's uh, not available today. We've got John O'Ellis coming in for him after his uh, excellent uh, spell in the T20 match against Bryden you saw last week. And uh, we've got Luke Tong wicket keeping. Just another thing he does. Love Tongy to bits, he's a, an enigmatic fellow. Uh, very dry wit, never entirely sure when he's being serious and when he's not, usually not. But he is one of those annoying people who's just like good at sport, you know them? He's just in general, they haven't got the common decency just to be good at one thing. You know, he plays champo cricket for Wheatley, he bowled against Bortry, got two wickets, he's now wicket keeping, he's good in the field. He's an excellent top order bat. He's also played football to a very decent standard in Retford. Just. If he, if he tried unicycle basketball, he'd probably be good at that as well. Just shouldn't be allowed. So, as tradition dictates, we've got Big Cal Rutherford opening the bombing for Wheatley. Oh, lovely start from Cal to this right-hander. You may be able to detect, viewer, that I'm on a raised bank here. That's because we're in Derbyshire and they got a load of flashy hills. Mm. Show offs. We don't get many of them in knots. Oh, lofty drive. Plenty of movement early on here. Henry Patterson opening up for Wheelie at the other end. Ah! Optimistic appeal from Matongi. No run. Now I think um, Cal Harrison hurt himself off the uh, fielding of Henry Patterson's last over. I think he's going to be okay. He's a he's a farmer, so yeah, should be okay. But I think he might just be milking it for the cameras. Lovely cover drive, and they're going to nick a single after. Let's see, couldn't quite gather it. Cover. That's an edge, and that's gone. Tongi takes it nice and comfortably. Quick single, and a shy at the starts from Munch. Now oh, I'm done. It's uh, clipped off his pads. Just brought in by Eddie. And they're back for two. That's another flick out, and this time it's connected with it really well. That's four runs. Oh, lovely bit of bowling. Just curving away from a groping bat. Nice bowling from Henry. It's been a good start from him. It's been flayed over the top, and that's six. What a fantastic shot. Oh, it's just over Munch at mid off, and that's gone for four. Nice shot. Good stop by Munch. And the single's taken. Oh, it's 
just out of reach of uh, Eddie at mid wicket. Um, again, I've got the similar problem to I have that I had at Wheatley, where if I do that, <laughs> get a lovely, great big sight screen. A sight screen that blocks your view. Irony. Oh, that's an absolute jaffer from Henry. Lovely bowling. Very quick single here. Oh, and that was extremely close. So the score's 30 for one. It's just out of reach of mid on. That was John Ellis. Come back for two. Oh, no. Very good running. Comfy three in the end. Well, as the uh, rain starts to fall again, we're into the 11th over. Killer Marsha, 39 for one. Ooh, and the uh, wind and the rain is really coming down now. Lovely shot through the covers. That is superb. Umpires are uh, having a conflab. Really surprised, but um, we're uh, hardy folk in this part of the world. And we'll crack on with it until it gets ridiculous. Well, call me Nostradamus, but I brought my uh, raincoat today and uh, it's now looking like quite a shrewd move. And that's that for the time being. The players are going inside. And the covers are coming out. And we'll just uh, hopefully let this uh, shower blow through. And, as if by magic, here we are at the Wheatley Oval. I made the executive decision to uh, come away from uh, Killer Marsh because it didn't look like uh, we were going to get back on. We were, I think, 44 for one with 13 overs gone. So we're here filming the twos. Cole Millington, one of our young charges, in the middle of an over here. Solid stuff. He's got a, an orthodox bowling action, but we love him for it. And the score... Is, and we can see it in the top left hand corner of your screen. It's 73 for two with 14 overs to go. Well, the two Nicks there, Perkis on the right, Cleaver on the left, and it's uh, Nick Cleaver coming on to bowl. One of the Leverton originals, you'll notice in the Wheatley with Leverton, two clubs uh, combined in 2004 when I joined the uh, club. And Nick Cleaver's very much one of the Leverton originals, still plying his trade. Slingy action that's been punched out. There's a rather appropriately to Jake Cleaver, Nick's son, and it's a single. So these guys have already been off for rain, um, they are back on now, and the weather is a lot kinder here than it was in Derbyshire about an hour ago when I left. It was uh, looking very black over Bill's mums, and as far as I know, the covers are still on there, but we're here at the cricket. Again, uh, good running by these Sherwood batsmen. Oh yeah, I should probably say, <laughs> we're playing Sherwood Colliery today. So um, it's not not a trip to the Wheatley Oval without uh, bumping into Jamie Beauville again. How are you doing, Bob? Are you okay? Okay, Pucky, yes. You Excellent, do. not so bad, mate. Have you been watching this from the beginning then? No, I came down. <laughs> No one can fill me in. <laughs> no, no, I came down about, well, there was about 20 overs left. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think well, uh, the... Robbo got a wicket early on and Jacob. Ah, well, there you go. Live update for you there, viewers. Um, we'll provide you with uh, all the necessary information once I get back home and we'll know exactly what's going on. And Killer Marsh is, Killer Marsh is wet even when it's dry. <laughs> it's it's wet, true. It's Derbyshire, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> Again, really good running this from Sherwood. The score's uh, 81 for two, and there's 11 overs left. It's a funny ground, isn't it, with the weather? Because it sort of looks as though it's coming and you're going to get hosed on, and it seems sometimes just goes round, doesn't it? And well, I, I was going to talk to you about that, Bob, because um, there is um, a theory, not based on any actual science, or certainly no. Um, peer-reviewed science, but Wheatley's got a, a microclimate. 
<laughs> because of the, our proximity to West Burton Power Station. Well, they do <laughs> often say we well, do sort of tell weather follows a river. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, and we've got a great big river in the Trent next to the ground. Oh, there's a shy from Graham Holt again and just misses out. Yeah, it's sort of vaguely raining, isn't yes, it? it but is. it's, um, that really fine rain. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I still got my uh, Mac on from uh, earlier. <laughs> we go. Oh, oh that's, that's uh, coming uh, down towards that us. Yeah. And that is four buys. So the score's 109 for two. We've got eight overs to go and Cole is continuing from the washing line end, which needless to say is again unpopulated because of the weather. That's the real loser. That's the, the real victim of this weather, the washing line. The washing line. <laughs> I don't know what it's called officially, actually, Bob. Do you know what it's called officially? The ends? I presume, presume this is this is the Sturton Road end, is it? Court, the court end? Court's end or <laughs> tennis yeah. court? Or, or? Uh, that's what I called it originally, I think. Yeah. But I have no idea. Nice. Low pasture Low lane pasture, end. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cole. Oh, it's a lovely little dink. Robbo's going to launch one back in here, and they come back for the two. Good running. Oh, and he's bowled him. Brilliant bowling from Cole. And from what I've seen so far, thoroughly deserved. See that the other week where he was sort of top of the economy rate? Yeah, he did really well, didn't he? He's just... Like I say, naggingly accurate. Yeah. Carl's uh, adjusted his line to this uh, new batsman who's lefty. And his first ball's punched out into the covers. And no run. Scores 127 for three. We've got Richie Robinson coming on, the erstwhile first team captain. I think his, uh, his seam up could be uh, pretty challenging in Division Three. Let's see how he goes. Give up our Saturdays for this one. They got paid. That's over the top of Jacob Brammer at mid off. That's nice and that's four runs. <laughs> <laughs> so Pick while there's a ball. furious search for the ball, uh, just a quick check on the score 135 for three, Sherwood Art. And we've got five overs to go. Turn down. <laughs> Excellent. That's all we're living about. <laughs> that's up in the air. And. Yeah. Jake has taken that. It's a great take. So that's a top uh, top knock from that fella. I think he got out for 41 there. So it looks like Cole Millington's uh, bowled his spell. We've got Rob Hunter Shaw coming on. I know a lot of you will be uh, looking forward to uh, watching Rob batting later after his. Uh... <laughs> oh, could be a mix up. And oh, <laughs> so that's a run out. And that chap walks off. Scores 135 for five. Oh, it's a great effort from Nick. And fortunately for him, it's gone through for four. Now, before I was really interrupted by that last wicket, um, I'm sure lots of you will be wishing to see Rob bat later on after he got uh, 12 off his first three balls against Bryden in the T20. Um, I'm looking forward to it. That's brilliant bowling from Rob out. And that's another wicket. 141 for six. Oh, just about to jab down on that. And they've nicked a single. Again, great bowling from Robbo. And that's a great over. Two to go. 142 for six. 
Oh, a swipe outside off stump. No run. Good chance by the bowler there, I think, Mr. Peck. Absolutely. So we've got Paul Knight here. All the firsts have decamped from Killamarsh now, which has been completely uh, and utterly properly rained off. And uh, we're now here. So, um, Paul, disappointing. We had a pretty decent start there, didn't we? Yeah, very disappointing over at Killamarsh this afternoon, unfortunately. Um, I thought Henry and Cal bogged quite well in the conditions, seeing that the ball was a bit wet from the moisture on the grass. And uh, we got one wicket. And we had the uh, main batsman dropped, <laughs> unfortunately, by Munch. Haven't talked to Munch about that yet. Well, he doesn't drop badly, does he? He's, he's, he does. he's had a pretty he, good uh, season so far in he, the field. He takes them off his own bowling, Cathy. <laughs> <tackle. laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can't expect anyone else to catch them if you don't off your own bowling, can you? <laughs> So Richie Robinson bowling the last oh, over for Wheatley another. and... That's a fourfer. Is that a fourfer already? Gosh, yeah, has he got one before we arrived? And uh, that's three since we've here. got three on the last clean bowled. Oh, right, I see. <laughs> Don't celebrate him anymore. You've got to get in there. Well, there is someone. I asked. Oh, and that's bold, Robbo. That it uh, it's Pfeiffer. Oh, and superb bowling performance. <laughs> so it's 145 for eight. Robbo coming in. That's being punched out of the ground. Oh, and nearly brilliantly taken one handed by Jake Brabber. So an intriguing batting stance this chap's got. And hasn't worked for him. Six for, for Richie Robinson. And that's the end of the innings. 146 for nine Sherwood finish on. So Wheatley are in. We've got Cleaver Senior and Cleaver Junior opening the batting. Nick and Jake respectively. So in Division 3 uh, we play 40 over side matches and we have uh, about 39 and a half overs to get this total. That's his uh, typically cavalier shot in the first over from Nick Cleaver. It's uh, over the top of extra cover for four. And uh, Jake's off the mark, off his first ball. That is savagely pulled by Nick, and that's four. Oh, edged fine, and it's stopped, and just a single. So the score's 21 without loss. We're in the seventh over. Yeah. And that's 22. Yeah. Quick single. And well taken in the end. <laughs> um, that is absolutely ginormous. Six has only just landed. What a shot by Nick. That's thrashed through the covers by Nick for four. Oh, squirted out by Nick and it's just stopped before the boundary. We're well, not before Nick can complete two runs. Well, Nick's raced on to 28 here. The score's 37 without loss. In the ninth over, that's flicked over the top. Uh, and four runs. Make that 32 for Nick. Got a bit of tennis on going behind us, so uh, you might hear the odd noise here and there. Never really grabbed me tennis, if I'm being honest. Um, each to their own and all that, but um, the late great American comedian Mitch Hedberg had something good to say about the game. 
So it, uh, he had to give up tennis when he realised he could never be as good as a wall. Hard to disagree with him. So just a hundred to get for Wheatley. Still uh, no wickets down. It's a really solid start by the Cleavers. It's a lovely shot by Jake, but it's going to be a quick single. Oh, good pressure on the fielder. It's been taken, and the danger man goes. So with the 50 up for Wheatley comes the first wicket and Sherwood Colliery are looking for uh, some more of that. George Lewis in at three for Wheatley. It's cut out straight away and well stopped that point. So a change of bowling. That's uh, the uh, washing line end and this fellow looks like he's put down a few overs in his time. A wily performer, I have no doubt. Nicely played out by Jake for a quick single. Is that out? Turn down. That's a lovely shot through mid on and it's just going to pull up. George comes back for two. Big shout for LBW. It's been turned down and Wheatley sneak a leg by. Bowled him. Well, I told you this chap was a wily old performer and uh, he's done George there like a kipper. So Jacob Brammer in at number four for Wheatley. And a very nuggety start from him. Oh, they're going to come and take on the arm. And they nick two. Good running. Oh, and that is an absolute jaffa. Oh, and uh, that's been... Um, Dealt with by Bram. Four runs. Jake goes for a big shot, and that's gonna that drop. Good, that's a great effort, and a potential run out is all happening there. But in the end, I think it was two runs. <laughs> he will have been doing this same job 35 years. He'll have two and a half thousand wickets. Quick single from Jake. Takes the score on to 74 for two. And we've got 26 overs to go. Lovely flick over the top by Jake. He's absolutely nailed that. That's four runs. Oh, and he's done him. Absolutely superb bowling. So Jake's walking off and uh, classic Wheatley have uh, got themselves into a bit of a pickle. It's a big shout and that's been given. And Sherwood Connery have come roaring back into this contest with a couple of very experienced bowlers on. Superb stuff from them. Well, the formidable Rob Hunter Shaw ambles to the wicket. Now, last time he played, hit a massive six over long off. Off his first ball of the innings. <laughs> Let's see if we're going to have something similar here. Solid from Richie Robinson, who's facing his first ball. Oh, and that's... Ow! 
out, second ball. And Show Colliery are all over Wheatley. Well, that really is a big wicket for Sherwood Colliery. Richie Robinson uh, can do a lot of damage in Division 3. And they bowled superbly. So, uh, a familiar sight here at the Wheatley Oval. Nick Perkis coming into bat. He's captain for the day in Jimmy Nixon's absence. And we're going to need every year of his experience uh, to get us out of this hole. What a comeback that was by... Sherwood Colliery, they've um, they got pummeled by Nick Cleaver early on, as many teams have in the past. But they've clawed their way back and now they are very much in the box seat. So after an excellent spell, we've got a change of bowling. Left arm seam, oh gosh, and that has been smeared by Rob. <laughs> Out to Poo Corner. That's Poo without the H. And they've come back for a very comfy three. Jokey controversial view of the day. All left arm seam bowling should be banned on account of it not being fair on me. I just can't line it up. It's witchcraft and it needs to stop. And Rob goes for a, a great big move, and it's gone down for four buys. Rob's connected with that, and that has gone out to the sheep field for four runs. Big shout, and that's been given. So, Wheatley are uh, in one of their... Uh, Really vintage collapses here. <laughs> Graham Holt in at eight for uh, Wheatley. My soon to be erstwhile next door neighbour. Must have been something I said. So we're halfway uh, through Wheatley's innings and we're 94 for six. Rob Hunter Shaw facing Phil Stanley. That's gone looping up towards the camera. And I think they should just stick to one. And there's going to be a very quick single. That's good running. Well, Rob has utterly annihilated that for four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so nice, a bit more of a dainty shot there from Rob, and he's absolutely middled that. It's just going to be pulled up inside the boundary, and he's come back for two. It comes, it comes. <laughs> it comes, it drops. Fairly safe. I'm going to test out that theory now, Ooh. and he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's edged, and just in front of first slip, and they nick a single. These are precious runs now because we're getting towards a situation where Wheatley need, I think, 40 to win. And if Rob keeps hitting them like he has, we're not going to be here for very long. If you can't already tell by his shot selection, um, Rob is a farmer. Not only that, he's also batting in a Massey Ferguson cap. <laughs> it's a big appeal for a catch down the leg side, but it's been turned down. That has been absolutely smashed. That's gone into West Burton Power Station, I think. Oh, it's been spooned up. Somehow evades the fielder. And Rob comes through for a single. Well, this to and fro match is absolutely compelling viewing. 110 Wheatley are on. Importantly for Wheatley here, I think this is Mr. Stanley's last over, and if we can see him off, um, it could be a slightly easier chase. Oh my giddy aunt, Robbers 
smash that into a car for six. <laughs> it appears Rob has a different definition of seeing a bowler off to most people. <laughs> We've got another change of uh, bowling. Wheatley are at 118 and uh, Rob Huntershaw is on 30. Lovely shot by Graham. That's uh, go down here for four runs. Surprisingly, for someone of my incredible math skills, um, <laughs> I've miscalculated, and it uh, looks like uh, Mr. Stanley is in for another over here. Oh, and that's been given. <laughs> We've got Aidan Blake in here for Wheatley, who's uh, an interesting figure. He's, uh, until 2020, he had never played cricket before. And here he is, batting for Wheatley. He's already ready for the bowler and he hasn't got to the top of his mark yet. Solid. So after one of the shortest spells you'll ever see, we've got another change in bowling. Another... Uh, experienced performer here and you'd have to say it's all on Rob to finish this off uh, for Wheatley. No offence Aidan, he's going to block up an end I would have thought and do his job that way. Wheatley are on 124 here and Aidan gets off the mark. Top stuff. Well after that really excellent spell from uh, He's called Phil Stanley. We've got the opening bowler back on. Rob on strike. Flicked again. And a great piece of fielding down at fine leg. And they scamper a two. So Wheatley need 15 for victory. Um, but I wouldn't put it past Sherwood Colliery to chuck a couple of twists into proceedings. Oh, I've had to wait for that one and it's bounced just in front of point. Robbers. Play that and that's four runs. That lovely swipe has moved Rob onto 42 and he really is an explosive player. What a great addition to Wheatley's squad this season. Oh gosh, that has been absolutely lathered before. <laughs> Still not scared to toss it up. That's a really, really nice delivery. And well played by Rob. been leathered for four and that is Rob's 50. What an absolutely blistering knock. Well played sir. Moon ball smashed and that is victory for Wheatley. Wheatley seconds have recorded their first win of the season and what a great game delighted to capture it. Well, well played to Sherwood Colliery, they more than play their part in this fantastic game of cricket. Well played to Rob, well played to Aidan. That's it for today from Wheatley TV, lovely to have you with us, see you again soon. All the best.